Chris with HobbyKing.com with a fantastic product I want to talk to you about today. Uh, first off, you're going to say, ah, oh, it's just another gimbal motor, but it's actually not. This is the Turnigy HD series of motors. Let me go over a few of the changes and you'll understand by the end of this show or uh, by the end of this segment, you'll understand why I'm excited about this particular motor. Um, first thing is the HD. We uh, included highly flexible silicone wire. We've gone over this in the past with brushless gimbal motors. Since they don't have a whole lot of torque, you don't want anything dragging them down in your in your setup. So the uh, it's 24 gauge silicone wire that's included on in all these. It's uh, fantastic. Another thing you're going to notice about this particular motor is that we had it uh, manufactured so it's flat on top and bottom. So it makes installation very easy. Some of the ones with the little posts in the middle um, are designed for specific gimbals where it clamps around that. But this particular one allows you to bolt flat straight to it. It has standardized mounting on the, uh, the front and the back so it's going to adapt to most uh, gimbals out there. Another cool feature about this motor is that it's been wound specifically for this application. And everyone says, hey, it's been wound for you know gimbals. But what does that really mean? Now, Alexmos and Martinez controllers are really designed, uh, they have to have that feedback from the motor to know how many pulls it has and be able to move smoothly. Uh, the key on that is not necessarily how, the, how many winds it has, but it's internal resistance per phase or between the two phases. And, and the magic number has been always between about 5 and 20 ohms. A little higher in the ohm rating, uh, the better they seem to perform. So these have been optimized and wound for that specific application. Now, we've got these in a variety of sizes. Uh, this particular one's a 52 series. Um, we've got the smaller ones for your GoPro size gimbals and, and the mid size for your neck size uh, gimbals and a couple different belt uh, sizes within those ranges as well depending on your specific application. Now the reason I am pretty uh, excited about these particular gimbal motors, um, let me show you. A few weeks ago we, we showcased the Lexmos controller that we started to carry uh, where we had it mounted on a hand gimbal. We were moving it around and, and showcasing what that controller was capable of. We got a lot of response from you guys asking about the gimbal itself as well as the motor. Well, these were the exact motors that we were using on that, and we were pre-testing them to see how they performed as far as tuning, uh, performance, and power to handle uh, heavy loads of cameras. If you take a look at the, uh, the gimbal that we used in that shoot the other day, you're going to see right here, Turnigy, Turnigy. These were the ones that we were using in that and on this gimbal. So, uh, obviously, you've seen them performed uh, in use. They're a fantastic motor. Uh, they're up on the new items page. Uh, check them out, and as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And just heads up, uh, if you're interested in the, uh, the gimbal itself as well, keep your eye on the new items page. We'll see you next time.